there is growing concern about sharing weather information and having the tools to provide an accurate and up-to-date weather forecast. The effort to shrink the size of the U.S. federal government has delivered a direct hit on NOAA. Retired meteorologist Gary Lines says layoffs at NOAA could reduce the number of scientific experts working at the agency, resulting in a possible ripple effect north of the border. As we all know, weather is global. And uh, certainly over North America, we've got weather services in Canada and the United States. According to Lines, forecasting and measuring weather represents a combined effort between the two countries. In a statement, Environment Canada confirmed they have a long-standing relationship with NOAA in operational weather, climate, satellites and water monitoring activities. Any loss of data is a loss. Lines says scaling back NOAA's forecasting capabilities could have an impact on predicting the intensity of severe storms as hurricane season approaches. Any reduction in that is going to have an impact uh, not only in the U.S. and Canada and actually to global uh, weather modeling. Commercial and residential developer Evan Price plans construction activities around the accuracy of forecasting models. If there's a gap in meteorological and climate data, Price has concerns about how that information will be gathered in the future. There's documents that uh, are layered on top of each other that pull from statistics and, and create reliabilities that certainly if the United States is not carrying up their end, then uh, we're going to have to figure out somewhere else to uh, to compile that data. Forecasters gather and communicate weather data in real time, hour by hour, sometimes minute by minute. Knowing how severe a storm could be and when it could make landfall are crucial elements that people rely on, especially people who live in these areas along the North Atlantic.